What's going on guys? In today's video, I will show you how to obtain FDA approval, so be sure you stay tuned. What's going on guys? Bashar Ketu here. In today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how to obtain FDA approval if Amazon requires you to do so for your new listing on Amazon. I know this is something that was frustrating to me and I know it is a lot of you guys frustrating to you also that sometimes, you know, after creating your listing and after actually submitting all the information needed and creating, you know, the description, the title, and sometimes even having your shipments into Amazon to have your listing get taken down and Amazon will send you an email saying something like, we have removed your product. ASIN, SKU, blah, 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 and because it was classified as, you know, a medical device or it was classified as this or whatever the case may be, and they'll tell you that they need a form called 510K from the FDA, okay? So what a 510K is, it is pretty much a, you know, a, a little paper or a little document from the FDA that just says that this product is this, you know, so what you need to do is you need to update or you need to obtain that uh, document from your supplier and pretty much submit it to Amazon telling them either this product is what you guys are claiming or it is not. And in either way, they have to have that paperwork, right? I have tried many things. I've tried many, many, many things. I was uh, just recently, I actually was getting ready to launch a product. I already, you know, submitted everything. My, my, I created my description, my features, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the pictures, just literally everything in the title and the keywords. And I also submitted a payment to my supplier. And as the product was getting shipped to Amazon, I wake up one day and I see an email from Amazon saying that my product, ASIN, blah, was taken down because it was classified as a medical device. Although I know it is not a medical device, I fought Amazon for three weeks. Back and forth, you know, uh, changing the pictures, changing the description, changing the title, changing the features. I changed the listing over a dozen times, and Amazon still did not approve it because they told me that they need the 510K from the FDA. And when I went back and asked my supplier, they said they do not have it, okay? And that's an issue. That is a very big issue. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every time you guys actually, you know, find a supplier that has an FDA approval, their product price is at least 10 to 15 or even 25% higher than everyone else because the FDA approval is not cheap and also is lengthy. It takes a long time, okay? However, that is something that Amazon now requires for a lot of products, especially if they're medical or they, you know, they, uh, they're like, you know, like food products or anything like that, you know. So you have to kind of be very careful. Now, here's the thing. What if you actually go ahead and contact your supplier and your supplier says that they do not have the FDA approval or the FDA paper, the 510K for this specific product? And that was something that I was facing, okay. So I contacted my supplier and I said, hey, this is what's going on. I need to have the 510K or else. That's after three weeks of battling, going back and forth with Amazon. And Amazon would just not let it go. Okay. And after doing all that, they still said that they needed the 510K. I asked my supplier. My supplier said no. I have about $700 at that time invested in the product. The product is already into Amazon's warehouse. What do I do? What I did was I started going and contacting other suppliers pretending like I am going to buy their product, asking them for their FDA approval. And what I did was I found one that was very close enough to my product and I submitted to Amazon. Well, three days later, my product gets approved and I'm selling right now about 22 on a good day, about 15, 16 on a decent day, okay? Units a day, that's just one product, okay? That product is making me about three, $400 a day, just one product, okay? So that's something that you guys need to understand that sometimes you just got to improvise and you have to think outside of the box in order for you to make it happen in this game. And the ones that can improvise, the ones that, 
you know, don't just hit a solid wall and stop. And the ones that know how to go around or dig through it or something are the ones that remain at the top. And I need to teach you guys and I want you guys to learn how to be the ones that actually stay at the top. You know what I mean? So be sure that you guys are always improvising. There's always a plan. There's always plan B for anything and everything you guys do. So what do you do then if you, you know, your supplier doesn't have it? Now here's the thing. If you were at the point where, you know what, your supplier doesn't have it, but you still have an order and you you know, you can get a refund if you've only put in a partial payment. Or if you haven't, you know, you find another supplier that's decent enough, that's a good, you know, close enough price. But once again, the ones that have it, VA, their price is a little bit higher. Then you go with the second supplier or you just get their certificate and submit it. Because a lot of suppliers, you know, sometimes I, I know that many of you guys may be thinking, saying, but why would your supplier provide the FDA approval? I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? Unless you place an order with them, sure. But you can't, then they understand that. You can't exactly, you know, place an order or you can't exactly sell that particular product unless you get approved. You know, nobody will go and, and just put in their money and invest their money before they get approved, then your suppliers understand that, you know what I mean? And I, I mean, I wouldn't do it. What if I don't get approved? Then what? You know, what if their FDA, you know, is not good or, or is forced or whatever the case may be, or Amazon just doesn't want me to sell that product. So what do you do is you find another supplier that sells a similar product, okay? And you get their FDA, you submit it. The number shouldn't matter. The name of the company shouldn't matter because Amazon does not ask you you know, for a receipt where you're buying it or anything like that. I've done it with two different products and it's worked both times. So this is how you obtain an FDA, but it is a frustrating thing. To avoid all that headache, what do you do is you create a listing, you create, you know, you make your photos, your description, your title, your features, everything, and let your listing sit for about a week before you submit your payment to your supplier, okay? For about a week, if your listing does not get taken down, then you're good to go. Because within that week, they will detect something. They will take it down if it needs to. Now, if you leave it for a week, your inventory gets sent in, and then it gets taken down, just bad luck. You'll just have to go around them and do what I told you earlier. So, guys, aside from that, Bashar to here, Amazon VS seller from beautiful San Diego. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Also, if you have any comments, share with us. And see, let us know if, you, you know, if this is something you guys have experienced in the past. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you like more videos like those, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It would be great if you guys can share with your friends. But aside from that, guys, Bashar to here, coming to you guys live and in person from beautiful San Diego every single day, putting you know free and you know exciting content about Amazon FBA or other topics. And also, if you guys want me to talk about something else in the future, I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to cover, you know, any topic you guys want me to. Aside from that, y'all, the shark gets you here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all take care.